Okay, we're gonna try and make that this quick because it's really hot in this truck, but it's really noisy out there. Um, I just put an injector in it. It's a 2014 Ford Power Stroke with a 6.7. I, I don't know if it's in the, the launch diagon, but I wanna see if the option to write the uh, IQA number is included in here. If not, then we'll see if the snap-on does. Um, if all else fails, then uh, we'll have to break out the laptop. So I've already got this connected. It would not automatically connect to this vehicle. I had to go in and select the vehicle manually. Once I did that, then it pulled the VIN fine. So I'm not sure I submitted an error report. Um, it may just be something with the newer trucks that um, they have to clarify a few things for identification. So I'm gonna see if it's under special function. IQA right there. Um, I don't know if it'll allow me to reprogram this. I'm not sure if I should be worried or not. I see a typo in here. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm gonna hit okay. I have the new number. We replaced injector number two. And we're gonna enter the new number. And I already in stuck the label under the hood, so I just took a picture of it with my phone. I'm not sure what happened. Nothing shows up there. Hmm, maybe I'll enter it one more time. <laughs> Well, nothing comes up on the screen indicating that I entered a value. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit update. Okay, it did write the number. So everything looks good there. Um, I don't know if there's any other issues with the truck. That one injector was uh, very bad. Um, I did not see any debris in the fuel rails, so we're hoping we don't need a contamination kit. Sorry, I may have been out of focus a little bit during that. Body control module has a tire code, so it did clear codes for us. Let's see if the truck will run. Okay, it took a second to uh, to fire up. Uh, I'm sure there's still a little bit of air in the lines, but it already sounds a whole lot better than it was before. It had kind of a diesel knock going on. Um, before recommending the injector, I did perform a power balance, a relative compression, and all that. Everything looked good, so we're only doing the one injector. I gotta get this thing running, get the AC uh, cranked up, maybe crack the windows, because I am sweating like crazy, but we proved that the launch Diagon can write the IQA numbers on the six, seven liter diesels. Um, I don't know how new it'll communicate with. Um, I wasn't paying attention when I picked the model year, but I think I saw 16 or 17 on there. Um, hopefully if your truck's newer than that, the dealership's doing your injectors and you don't have to worry about it. But you know, you don't have to have the snap on scanner or the factory scan tool. The much more affordable launch Diagon will do it. I'll put a link down below. Um, so far I've had pretty good luck with it. I've only scanned probably half a dozen vehicles, but it seems like the capabilities are quite good um, for the budget price. And it has adapters for OBD1 vehicles as well. So if you wanna see more vi videos with uh, that scan tool, other car related videos, repairs, tool reviews, subscribe, click the bell. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.